Hello everyone. Welcome to SAP IDS Labs. SAP IDS Labs is a training organization where we provide trainings to online. Today we are going to discuss about SAP IDEA that is Identity Manager in that we are going to discuss a very new version of this SAP IDEA that is nothing but SAP IDEA 8.0. If in case if you want to register for this course you can email us to directly to ideaslabs at gmail.com or you can contact us to the below mentioned number that is plus nine one eight one two one zero two zero triple four or else you can also visit our website www.ideaslabs.com now let us have a look about SAP IDS Labs and what we are and IDS Labs is the best emitted SAP training academy based in Hyderabad India IDS Labs delivering the price efficiency and a high quality of SAP e-learnings for the student and the consultants who are located across the globe. IDS Labs is expert in providing e-learning courses for individuals who are fresh graduate and also already working professionals in SAP. We are expertizers in services like SAP online trainings and corporate trainings on various SAP verticals. IDS Labs has, a, has proven track records of delivering successful training on various modules globally to improve the button line of the business for competences of the corporate and the career growth of the individual SAP consultants. Our technical expertise is in a various industry verticals and intensive experience in SAP consultant consulting and training makes us to carry out in any training in any model of SAP. IDS Lab success lies on the ability to refine rapidly to meet the challenges and assurance to give the customer with a customized course content. Believe in serving the requirements of, of our clients with the perfections and deliver the training with the, with the stipulated time period to help the client to meet their goal. Next, let us have an introduction about, about this SAP IDM 8.0. SAP IDM 8.0 training is purely an administrative area that deals with providing and controlling the access to the rightful users. Identity Management 8.0 online training protects and saves the information, enables the continuity in the business and lowers the risk. SAP IDM 7 8.0 training reduces an operational risk by eliminating the access creep and bringing the access provisions in line with the segregation of the duties requirement. SAP IDM 8.0 training is redundant by the best subject matter experts and the tutorials are prepared by these expert industry aligned tutors are made the latest industry updates. Classes are available for the individual as well as for the corporate badges on demand. From the help desk for more information for online SAP IDM 8.0 training and its detail. Next is about the basic advantages for SAP IDM 8.0. There are three major basic advantages. First one is efficiency, insights and the flexibility. Coming to the efficiency, it is central management of the user identities and the next one is the lower cost of administration and the standards based technology platform and the leverages for SAP Netware management and administration capabilities. Next coming to the last one is a rule driven workflow and an approval process. Next is uh, insights. First one in, in the insights we deal with a regularity, compliances, governance model for the policy management, extensive audit trials, login and reporting capabilities integrated with an SAP business suit and SAP business object access control that is nothing but GRC for end-to-end -end compliant and the rule-based control. Next is a flexibility. Here we'll deal with the business drive and identity management responsive to the business changes. Standards are like a basic integrations with an SAP business suit and an identity services enable tightly aligned and loosely coupled integrations. Next, let's just have an overlook on the course content which we are going to cover in the complete training for this SAP IDM 8.0.
first the topic is about overview on the SAP IDM training at IDM 8.0 training in which we'll discuss about SAP NetWare which is very much linked with SAP IDM and before learning SAP IDM and one should have the knowledge on SAP NetWare. Next is a basic knowledge of an SAP NetWare identity center with an iDatabase, MS SQL Server and along with an Oracle. And the next topic here we're going to deal is running jobs. Here we deal with dispatchers, jobs, job design rules along with the respiratories, identity stores, attribute definitions, entry type definitions and writing data to the identity stores. Inspecting the IDS that is nothing but monitoring. Enable the delta and clean up this test data. Next is the provisioning. Here we cover three topics such as introduction to the provisioning, inspect to the directories, initiate the directories and coming to the case it deals with the provisions and SAN1 cases adding A2 to the provisions, condition task, audit plans and the result handling. Next is workflow. Here we deal with an IC authentication, definition workflow login, with the profile task, attribute definition task access control, delegated administration and the new user task and the approvals. Next is privileges and the roles. Here we deal with the roles, role and privilege attributes, adding and removing the privileges from a job and in advance. And coming to the few advanced topics for this SAP IDM 8.0 is sending alerts from IC, send emails to the approver, recover the password, debugging jobs and tasks, job version controls, event agents, advanced job scheduling, external attributes and accessing de deleted attributes and monitoring configuration along with the workflow configuration. Next is a backup, backup information is about internal attributes and the details of the rest training data, jobs, encryption, licensing, dispatcher scripts, mani management console options, SQL server adding more database user and SQL server configuration options with an accessing activate directories from MDE and LD, LDAP basics. Let's Nessus have a key capabilities for this. The key we have here is an holistic approach of the managed identities and permissions in an SAP identity management. First, it enables the efficient ensure and complement execution of the business process. Next is ensure that the right user has the right access to the system access at the right time. And it consists with the user roles and privileges and across all the systems and applications. <coughs> Next is an identity life cycle. Here, it has it shown in the figure, it has an hiring and resign. Coming to the hiring, first it will check how long does it take for a new employees to receive all the permissions and become productive in their new jobs. After that, he will be giving a new position where they will check on how can you remove a permissions automatically if, if an employee changes their position. Next comes is a substitution where they concentrate who are adequate permissions to fill in for a co-workers. Next is design. In this, how does, how long does it take to remove all the permissions of all employee and how can you ensure that they were properly removed? Coming to the prom promotions, they will focus are the permissions automatically adjusted if the someone is promoting to a new position. So here is the basically and the pre-explained life cycle, life cycle of an identity. Next comes a solution in a nutshell. A nutshell is one of the main topic in the and an SAP identity management where it console SAP access control and the SAP identity management in this nutshells are divided into two that is SAP applications and non-SAP applications in the, in the SAP applications commanders the models such as SAP HCM, Java, SAP ERP, HCM, Portal, SAP ERP and the success factors coming to the non-SAP applications that deals with database, emails, legacy, web apps, OS and etc. Now, what the notion will proceed? It's a central management identity throughout the system landscape and it's a rule-driven workflow and approval process. It's an extensive audit trial, logging and a reporting functionality. 
governs the central and auditable identity data and compliance through integration with an SAP access control and compliant and integrated with an identity management solutions to mitigate the segregation of the duty risk. Next let's look now next we'll look on the workflow how the workflows and identity management first we'll discuss one by one first we'll go with a request request a user sends a role request then in the processing identity center process the request by sending alerts to the manager administration next to go with the provisioning here will identity the center provision new rules and privileges to the respective system and next comes notification identity center sends a notification to the user or the manager once it is done it will be approval like manager checks the request and approvals the Dennis next is an SAP IDM functionalities let us focus on the few functionalities for this SAP IDM that are applications and privileges centric or the determination of the system access and the user entry where the determination of user privileges and entry data, current data, historical data, timestamps modified by audit flags and approval data, segregation of the duties, attestation, general logs, official reporting and the tools. Next, why you should go for SAP IDM 8.0? Because it offers a close alignment with the business process and it provides the best value for the business sponsors and the review users of SAP deployment expenses and intellectual properties which integrates with an existing identity management infrastructures combines a tight SAP integration with a heterogeneous ID and integrated roadmap and the blueprints with an SAP business object access control that is GRC and provides the lowest risk solution for SAP connectivity. Next, let's have, let us have a look on the advantages for enrolling for SAP IDM 8.0 training. To gain knowledge about SAP Netware Identity Management 7.2 features, understand how SAP Netware Identity Management managers uses the heterogeneous IT span labs and learn how to integrate the identity management with the business process within and beyond your enterprise using Identity Federation to facilitate the joint authentication and the single sign on the solution for a secure identity management solutions across the company boundaries. Next let us have a look on the SAP IDM 8.0 training outline. The duration of the course is for 30 hours and the mode of training is completely to online virtual classes and we also deal with corporate trainings for on demand. And the timings are according to the once feasibility as the main motto is to provide the trainings in the once feasibility and they can learn and they upgrade the skills in SAP IDM as well as in SAP IDM new versions by joining the jobs and can learn this in the free hours. And the system access will be provided and the server is running in the very good conditions if the user face any issues regarding the server and it will be solved in a very couple of hours. Coming to the batches, batches are of three types, regular, weekends and the fast track. Coming to the regular, focusing on the duration of the course, we'll be taking every day one hour session and the duration, it will go for 30 days to complete the course. And coming to the weekend, we take Saturday and Sunday classes for three to four hours Saturday on Sunday, where it goes for five to six weekends to complete the course. Coming to the fast track, the persons can learn this course in a very quickly by selecting this fast track batch. Trainees will get the soft copy material in the form of PDF or Word or maybe in the form of PPT. And the sessions will be conducted through WebEx, GoToMeeting or Skype. I think you all are well known with the WebEx and Skype. And regarding the GoToMeeting, login process will be held by the team, SAP Ideas Labs team. And the basic requirements are good internet speed with an headset. The proper internet speed will help you the interruption during the sessions and the good headset will help you to communicate with the trainer and can clear up your queries easily. Please like us on Facebook like www.facebook.com ideas labs, LinkedIn like http govern www.linkedin.com slash in slash ideas labs or you can tweet us at www.twitter.com ideas labs. Thank you so much for your valuable time and attending the demo. You can visit our website www.idslab with the mentioned website address. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.